Oh yeah. Man, oh. my butthole hurts. <laughs> my butthole hurts. Fizzy Jesus thinks Christ. <laughs> That sub alert is awesome. Fissy, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Cole. Welcome to the Empire Ride. Oh, little Gizmo! You now have access to Gizmo Red Rocket and Gizmo Heart and Gizmo Baby Yoda. What the? Fuck! 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 Fissy, thank you Fuck! so much, darling. I love you. Fuck! And Sam, you also had those awesome moments now. Welcome to the Empire Ride. Oh, little Gizmo! <laughs> Look at how sleepy he is. Look at how sleepy he is. Look at how sleepy he is. I love you, buddy. I love you, buddy. I love you, buddy. Mwah. I'm gonna rub his chest and pet him and love him. Thank you so much, Vizzy, for your generosity, you darling. I love you. Okay. We're gonna go back to the game. Gizmo's been sunbathing all morning while I'm streaming. So let's do another save. Save. Okay. There's a small hole in the side of the panel. I guess I need some kind of lever to operate it. Hey. fuck is that? Oh. What happened, Cole? You take the desk, but I came to. I had somehow slammed myself in the corner of the desk door jam. Did you fall off your fucking chair or desk or something, Cole? Man, you had an interesting evening there, Cole. I've seen this machinery before when I first visited this wicked world of the dead. Back then, it was my blood that turned it on. So... So I need another... Probably... I didn't ever operate this, so I don't know. Fuck. Yep. Okay. I don't. It's like I have to get my spirit thing across. Will you follow me now? Thunder buddies, you can suck my dick. 
think we have to like have these two up. I understand that one. Like I woke up, I woke up in the middle of the night because my wife gave me no fucking space on the bed, Cole. And oh fuck, there's another panel. Okay, and uh, so I went downstairs and slept on the couch and uh, and uh, watched AEW in the middle of the night. So I think she like has to... hmm. Not really Cole for being honest. I mean, it's okay. It's just, I'm like a giant man at 6'3", who. Dude, newbie. My my wife literally let newbie have half of her king size bed, half of it. Yep, that's me, Vissy. I'm always on the edge of the bed. Does she follow me? That's pretty funny, Vessie. Well, tell him. Tell him. Tell him. That hit your dick's all shitty from his asshole. And then he will. My dick's all shitty. Okay. Reese, do I have everything that I need in here? I'm still confused by this whole fucking puzzle. Uh... Like, I feel like my spirit has to follow me over, and it, it's not working. Am I supposed to be getting my spirit across this, uh, across the screen, Reese? Is that what the goal is? The problem is I put one here, she like... Or she just hide behind it. I don't fucking know. She goes back into that room. It's like I need her to follow me. Reese, are you telling... Don't tell me to take everything out. Reese, that's dirty. <laughs> I'm kidding, Reese. I'm kidding. Okay, so. Okay. Okay, the first panel on the left. So that that gets rid of It doesn't matter which one I use, right? Hey. It's mostly because of like, okay. How Okay. What? Oh, because I knew that's That okay. That's fucking stupid because that's what I was trying to do, Reese. Ah. Oh. Uh, oh, that. Uh. Like, I knew that was the point of this, but like. I didn't. I didn't realize it would be like that resource was that sensitive with. Mm hmm.
Well, like, I understood what I was... I understood what the puzzle was. I just didn't understand that the game wanted me... Needed me to, uh... To do what it did, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't know I had to have all of them... Like, you saw me trying to do it. Like, I don't know. Now I gotta fucking... Hit her with a fucking, uh... Yeah. What the music choices in this game, man, are out there. I kind of love them, but goodbye, other world. Not a single sound. Reaches my ear. Or maybe it's this not you. I stick my head into this shield, this heaven. Give me proof, guys, I need it. Oh, what's the Yeah, Amper's hand is, it's really, it's fucking dark as shit, man. Oh, did they kill, oh. Is that you behind my back, Mitzi? Ms. Ashworth, I thought, I thought you were dead. It's I very, that like. I you right in the head. It Me? doesn't have, like, the humor dead? of, like, Little Misfortune no. and stuff like that either. No. I'm a tough old girl. You missed her going, you you're not a lesbian, are you, Cole, earlier? Stop asking stupid questions. <laughs> we have no time for that. Let's calm down, yeah? Yeah, okay. I can do that. What's Two this? bros chilling in a tub. Duct tape. Yeah, he had loads of that stuff. Maybe we can break this tape if we pull really hard. It won't uh, hurt to try. I don't think that's how tear ducts work, Zoe. It's pointless. We're completely wrapped in this damn tape. We're cocoons, stuck in a web, waiting to be eaten. But where's the spider? He's gonna play with us first, isn't he? Pull yourself together and stop talking shit. I can't think properly. <laughs> How about those lockpicks that you always carry with you? You know, the ones you oh, got no. from your dad and used to break into this place. But we aren't locked in a room, are we? We're wrapped in duct tape in case you forgot. How is a lockpick going to help here? I don't know. It's probably sharp. You could use it to cut this tape. Well, even if that was the case, I can't reach it anyway. Lil Let's forget the fisted lockpicks. my tear duct. Else, what right? in the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I saw the tweets about... uh. Did he hurt you? That bastard packs a hell of a punch. I've got a bit of a headache, but I think I'm all right. Man. What about you, Mrs. A? Me? Fresh as a daisy. Fresh we'll as a daisy. Dealt with this unpleasant guest of ours. Do you think he's going to rape us? Holy no, balls! He is not. Jesus fucking worry, Christ, man! I'll figure something out. This game Let's makes me feel yucky. Back. Sooner or later, they always make a mistake. This game makes me feel yucky. Miss A, I'm sorry I had upset you. I shouldn't have pushed you so hard. 
And I'm sorry about the mug, too. It's all right. Water under the bridge. Let's use this sharp knife to cut the tape, then. What? You've got a knife? Yeah, but I'm sorry. I just remembered I can't reach it. So let's forget the knife and think of something else, yeah? Yeah, I, I oh, could see that being reasonable, work, Ampersand. Say. Yeah. I really believed you had a knife. You shouldn't joke about it, you know. It's cruel. It's it cruel. It wasn't a joke. I lied to you. And you lied about the lockpicks, didn't you? You don't really have them. Who are you to call me a liar? I can't reach the damn lockpicks. It's the truth. Really? Yes, but clearly my word isn't enough. You know what? I'll show you when this is over. It's in my badge! If we're not chopped into little pieces, packed in plastic shopping bags and dumped in the trash, that is. Maybe it won't come to that. He might just throw our bodies in the river or bury them in the woods. <laughs> Maybe there wow. won't be any chopping. Always an optimist. <laughs> So, uh, any ideas? Not that many, really. None at all, actually. Pumpkinberry suggested this game uh, when I was and in you? his chat one day. Ampersand, what do you think we should do? We should kill the fucker. With what? We're tied up. Are you going to headbutt him to death? I will, if there's no other way. <laughs> Come on, there's got to be something more sensible we can do. I'm not going to die here. Not like this. Maybe together we can pull this pipe off the wall. How is that exactly going to help us? Stop asking stupid questions and pull with me. Yeah. I mean, she was the one behind fucking Nocturne. Yeah, that would make the duct tape all, like, less sticky, right? Right, that's just what we needed. A cold shower. I used to like flowers, you know. Like everyone else, or even more. There was this guy. I should have told him from the start I wasn't interested. But I didn't. Maybe I was interested. In a way, probably. Flattered would be a better word. It was ten years ago. I can hardly even remember him now. He did that thing every week. Because he knew Eric was at work, and I was in the flat, alone. So... Every Friday night, I'd get flowers delivered by a courier. I, ampersand, I got to episode, like, 30, and I gave up. Like, that, that show, every time I watched husband, the episode, I got, I got, like, he was a taxi I was like, uh, every weekend, And I was still on maternity leave. Uh, Zoe, our little daughter, uh, was Zoe? six months old at the time. Well... Five months and 28 days. Well, it, it's like 36 with like all the other stuff she that's in there. Now. Zoe. Anyway, no. that one Friday evening's courier had delivered a big bouquet of the most beautiful lilies. Usually, I would have thrown them away. But I really liked them. Somehow, they were extraordinary. Absolutely stunning. And looked very expensive. I stood there looking at them, mesmerized. I didn't even hear the phone ring at first, but then I heard it loud and clear, as if I'd woken up from a strange dream, and I knew it was him calling. What the fuck? The scent is sweet and sinister. They're the prettiest flowers I ever got. I love them. They're absolutely beautiful. Look at all the color in here. It reads, I know one day you will say yes. I'm just going to keep them. I should definitely throw this note away just in case Eric finds it. Send me anything. I 
Zoe was our baby that died, but we don't know why. Liar, liar, liar. I have a family now. I'm sorry, but I can't see you. No, no, Amber. We've all you know, patch things up with there was like a baby Amber thing Zoe. in that spare bedroom, so you we don't know anything. We have to try and make it work. Our daughter needs both her parents. So, yeah. I can't just run away with you. Life's not a film with LZT was here really. earlier, Amberson, and he's like, he couldn't deal with this chick's mic. I... Look, I love my husband. I can take care of Zoe. I told you before. I'll be a good father to her. Oh. If you want. It doesn't work like that. You don't know anything about children. I'll learn. Give up? Honestly. I could never give up. I like how she's just like this. This is her phone answering. On. Don't be like that. <laughs> You're breaking my heart. You're breaking my heart, Karen. Oh, shut up. Just shut up, all right? Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, Susan. I got carried away. Please. Oh, all the character animations like I janky like that. I'll wait. Listen, I have to go. It's getting late. Wait. Yeah. No, I'm sorry, but this is over. Goodbye and good luck. I guess I should do something about these flowers. I'd really like to keep them, but I don't want Eric to know I have a secret admirer. Yep. This game is fucking trippy, man. Let's look on this way. It's so weird seeing her in like color. Oh no, I can't play now. It would wake Zoe up. Eric brought this table just a few weeks ago in a secondhand furniture shop. We haven't really gotten a lot of money at the moment. Okay. She's fast asleep now, my baby girl. She looks so cute. God, this game is fucked up. Now I can tell Eric that Mandy had brought them for Zoe. It seems like a pretty innocent lie. I doubt he'll notice anyway. He, I'm assuming he's the one who kills Zoe too. I hope you're dreaming about something nice, my little star. Oh no. Eric must have come home early. But why? No, this is the dude. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I don't. You're back early. Is something wrong? Yeah. Well, let's think about it for a minute. Is something wrong? Yes, Susan, there is. Didn't you watch television? Listen to the radio? Didn't talk to anyone today? What, what talk happened? to anyone today? Eric, just tell me what's wrong, okay? It was those bloody terrorists again, here on our doorstep. Would you believe that? So, it was a bomb? Yes, in a restaurant. There's chaos spreading all through the city. Everyone's panicking. I did not hit her. I did not. But you don't it's even bullshit. care, do you, Susan? Oh, hi, Mark. Jesus. Are you all right? I'm fine. Did you get hurt? No. 
not really. But the cab smashed quite badly. I was just there when it happened. There well, was smoke. Clouds of dust so thick you couldn't see a fucking thing. So I stop, and all of a sudden some van hits me from the back. I hear my passenger screaming and shouting, and there's blood on the rear window. And just then another car drives right into us, and we're all stuck in that mess. Nobody knows what's going on, but imagining this might just be the end of the world. But no, it was some geezer with a bloody bomb. They closed all the main streets, in case there's more of them. What time was that? Around 7 p.m. I spent another two hours trying to get someone to tow the damn cab to the garage. What the garage? Believe? Our insurance doesn't even cover this sort of thing. You should have called me. I did. Four times. You didn't answer. You didn't answer? I must have been... Yeah, yeah. You were busy with the baby. Every time it's the same old story. We've still got that wine in the fridge, haven't we? Get some glasses, Susan. I need a drink. All right. I'll get the glasses. You get the wine. But are you sure you don't want to take a shower first? No. I just need a drink. I can wash later. He's got a dirty asshole. Yeah, it seems like uh, this is going to go well. You wonder why she's not with this guy anymore. Shit. Are you gonna get that? If it's Jerry, tell him I'm not here. I don't want to talk to them tonight. Hello? It's me again. I'm sorry, but I had to hear your voice again. I love you, Susan. I hate this guy. Susan, you still there? Please, say something, anything. I'm, I'm sorry, but he's not home. I, excuse me? He's at work, isn't he? He's not home yet, Jerry. Why don't you try again in the morning? He won't be back till late, right? Is that Jerry? I'm not here, just blow him off. Oh, I like how he says that, like, so that Susan, the person on the phone could. I'm so sorry. Should I hang up? All right. Take care then. Man. Then the arguing started. Yep. It what? slowly grew Asshole. into something bigger, something horrible. Stupid remarks and old grudges mixed with alcohol turned into some sick exchange of pointless accusations. It wasn't the first time we argued, but it was the last. The husband sounds Look at like the a state of this place. It's a mess. Listen, I know you're with Zoe all day, but it's not like she's still a little baby. She's six months already. You'll have to organize your day. I did not hit her. I did not. Done. If other women find time, why can't you? I hate this fucking guy. Eric, you're drunk. Get off my case, all right? Look, yeah. I understand you've had a very bad day, but it's not my fault that the bomb had gone off and your car was damaged. I'd really like you to calm down now. I'm sure we can sort everything out. We always do. Well, that's what you think. Yeah? And what do you think, Eric? What do I think? So it matters all of a sudden what I think. Well, I'll tell you. Sure. I think you're lazy, Susan. You do nothing all day while I keep working my ass off to provide for this family. I think you're trying to shift the responsibility on me like you always did. I think you use the baby as an excuse for everything. And I think you're an asshole. How dare you accuse me of such things? Yeah, it only fuck takes Eric. one look at the flat to see it's all true. I'm done talking to you. Fuck you, of Eric. Of course you are. That's what you always do, isn't it? 
You run out of arms. Kick him in the dick! Stop talking to me, then you lock yourself in the bathroom and fucking cry. Kick him I'm in the dick! Of repeating the same old thing over and over again. Kick then him in why the dick! Give me a break, for God's sake! You're acting like I've done something terrible. I don't even know what your problem is. Is there something you're not telling me, Eric? I'm fucking no, three people on the side. But you never listen to me, do you? You never listen to me! Not to Go a you. single word I've ever not said! Not a single word right. I've ever said! Here we go. It's not Kick. you. It's the alcohol speaking. Him in I the shouldn't dick. be taking any of this seriously. I know that tomorrow you'll be apologizing to me for it. It was just a couple of glasses and you it had some It was just a couple too. of glasses and you had some too. I'm not drunk! I wish I was. Maybe then I could laugh at this shitty life. And not care so much. That's a good one. You really care so much, Eric. You should get a medal or something. You should get a medal I or something. I thought you said you weren't gonna talk to me no more. You are full <laughs> of shit, Susan. You are full of shit, full Susan. Of shit. Full of shit. Why don't you look at yourself, you idiot? <laughs> so I'm an idiot Fuck you, now, Eric. am I? You're... Fuck you, Eric. You keep picking on me for nothing. No, this was coming, and you know it, Susan. If you're so unhappy with me, then what the fuck are you still doing here? Pack your bags and leave me alone. Get out of here, Eric, you piece of shit. You're throwing me out. 